The solid pod from NKI just got another update. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up? I'm Scott and this is Take Two, a series of short videos that highlight key features or updates to products that I love. And today we're going to talk about the newest addition to the solid pod lineup, the solid pod light. It's actually over here. Not long ago, I introduced the Solid Pod Slim, which is like the updated version of the original, which is a CFast 2.0 to SSD adapter, originally aimed towards uh, Canon C200 users in particular. Of course, other cameras like this Zcam E2 F6 also use CFast 2.0 cards, which aren't the cheapest cards in the market. So using this adapter lets you use more memory for cheaper without using up the USB-C port or needing to use an external recorder. So what's new with the light version? Well, instead of M SATA SSG drives like this one right here, the light version uses M.2 SATA SSD drives, which are skinnier, potentially faster and easier to find. The solid pod light is extremely form fitting and while it is slightly more narrow than the slim version, it's a little bit longer and it also does have a permanently attached NATO clamp instead of the modular mount that I loved so much on the slim version. The previous slim version also has a removable SSD tray which would let you easily swap out multiple drives, but the light now requires the removal of four tiny screws and one additional screw on the inside to remove that drive. So that means it's probably likely not to be the best choice if you plan to record a ton of data and switch out drives in the middle of recording. Anyway, to insert that drive into the new light version, you just kind of push it in here and then use the screw to tighten it down. There are also little spacers included if you need them. Then put the cover back on and screw that down. With the Z cam, you'll want to first turn on the camera and then insert the card, format it when you're prompted to, and then record a short clip for just a few seconds, format it again, and then you're good to go. You only have to do that the first time around, so don't worry. Now I'm honestly not super knowledgeable, technically speaking, on these uh, SSD drives, but I believe that there are some different sizes that the SolidPod Lite accepts, and I will put some more information on screen about that. I personally have the uh, WD Western Digital WD Red SA500 SSD in there, and I've tested it on the highest resolutions and frame rates on the F6 with the highest codecs and all that, and I've not had a single problem. I also tested out the uh, or Orico, or Orico, whatever, however it's pronounced. It did terrible, so uh, don't go with that one. Now there should be a list on NKI's website of tested and recommended drives and that will be updated if anything new is found to work or not to work. So check that out if you're curious which one to get. Otherwise, this is basically just the same product in a different package and another awesome choice for more affordable recording on cameras like the Canon C200, the Zcam E2 series and more. Don't forget to also check out my review of the Solid Pod Slim. And if you want to grab one of these for yourself, check the links in the video description, ask questions, leave comments, all that good stuff. See you next time.